Ipo, welcome back to our platform and thank you so much for joining today so guys if this is your first time here please do not forget to subscribe and support the movement it's so important so i have two updates here for you and i will be giving you all these updates the first thing i want to say before i talk about this update is please if you want to really get your study abroad journey running you should make sure you pay attention to videos on youtube places like facebook would not uh, somehow give you the information you need and if you watch videos and you still don't understand or you haven't watched at all but you think you need information get information from people book appointments to people with people like us not just me if you think i'm not the best person to give you the information you need you go to other people you think can help you okay go for what you can afford so that you avoid maybe being used by certain people and be careful if you are applying for visas you have to be careful because some people will take your millions and at the end of the day you don't get what you need i have a lot of complaints in my inbox i'm not even able to respond to everybody if you are thinking of moving to lithuania this is for those who want to move to lithuania there are two things like i said please understand that schools in lithuania now are not that cheap you should be prepared to pay tuition deposit first because many people don't understand there is somebody who told me he applied but now the school is asking him to pay tuition deposit and he is saying he doesn't have money i don't know how he is going to move to europe if you are applying to any school first of all look at the tuition and understand that that tuition you see when it comes to lithuanian universities that tuition you see on the website you have to pay complete of that tuition before the school can issue you documents or complete documents to start your visa application now that is the first thing now remember that if you want to study in lithuania there is a law the first law is first there were before international students could apply for visas from jordan lebanon and united arab emirates for everybody in africa that i know some people were however given an opportunity to apply from uh, maybe turkey and some other countries especially in africans you know most of my audience like the majority of my audience are africans africans used to apply from jordan lebanon and uh, uae but now jordan and uh, lebanon together with india and sri lanka i guess were scrapped off by the immigration body in lithuania so right now if you want to apply for a visa if you're an african you need to go again and check the list of countries available among the countries available there should be i can't remember how many they are but there is still a video i did about this right all i can remember is that the closest countries now for africans which are like the closest the closest to africa is south africa the closest to africans is the united arab emirates okay it used to be uh, jordan and uh, lebanon but right now people cannot apply again from jordan and lebanon so if you want to apply and you're an african cameroonians uh, Ghanaians, maybe some other nationalities you have to first of all after filling your information on the migris website remember when you fill the information on migris you are going to still book an appointment right they will give you a certain number all the details are found on migris now you use that detail login then put in your application then when your application is done they will now give you a date then when they give you a date you now carry those documents that you put on migris before then you go with them physically they will have to check remember if something is lacking among the documents the embassy my or let me say the external service provider which is the vfs center or the embassy in another country might reach out to you and tell you something is lacking that you should input that information or you will add the document i hope you understand but do not rely on this because this is not a guarantee method i'm just telling you what can happen but make sure you submit the right documentation the right proof of funds because these are some of the things that always get people rejected the lithuanian visa it is not visa now you what you are going to be applying for is uh, the temporal residence permit okay because right now it's like an identity card you are not going to get a visa in your passport you are just going to get a card but lithuania is now offering the tea i hope you understand now for those of you from nigeria you would be going to south africa to apply for your temporary residence uh 
permit right to lithuania the reason is because you cannot go to uae according to what i was told it looks like nigerians cannot go to uae now i don't know how true that is but again check if you can go then you go to uae but uae and south africa are the closest there are other countries as well you can apply for but they look so far to me some are in asia some in europe some in uh, south america but they are far right so please consider all of this we have talked about the changes in lithuania and uh -huh, another thing i was forgetting is the issue of uh, dual legalization dual legalization means you have to do legalization twice this is for a document called the police report it looks like lithuania is trying to tighten up their immigration policies now so they have said that for international students coming to lithuania you need to do dual legalization for your police report what does that mean it means that if you want to move if like you want to apply for your visa you need to get a police report from the country in which you have been to for two years but if you live in uae for one year then you came back to cameroon and live in cameroon for two years you will need to get a police report from cameroon now that police report will be signed by the officials now you are not uploading that police report on the website or big website like that no you have to send it to lithuania for them to legalize in lithuania the issue of foreign affairs right you have to book an appointment and it's through appointment booking you have to book an appointment there then your police character will be legalized then then sent to you before you put on the migri website now if you don't have anybody in lithuania this is going to be a challenge i will advise you speak to your school or speak to a lawyer that you know over there or speak to somebody you know and can trust now in some cases if you have somebody over there you can just send the report to the person let the person do it then send it back to you because of course you are going to legalize it here then send to the person to legalize it there then send to you to upload on the migris if the person can do it there then just scan it for you to upload on migris it's okay i hope you understand so where you have been living for the past two years is where you are going to get the police report and send to lithuania for dual legalization this is the other update i wanted you to know now let's take a look at the proof of funds to study in any country entails a lot and you need to make sure that you have the required amount of money or the required documents to study in that particular country in this case of lithuania it's always good for a close family member your father your mother your brother your sister your auntie or uncle to an extent you understand be the one to sponsor you now if they are to sponsor you they need to also give you what is called required documents and in this case let them make sure they give you their id number maybe the passport the driver's license they also give you what they call the sponsorship letter right it's very important this sponsorship letter has to be notarized by the officials also get the other documents from them if they are the one to provide the bank statement excellent they should provide the bank statement with uh, maybe the bank attestation and equally with their pay slips and their employment contract to show that they are actually working and earning some money now remember your employer um maybe your sponsor if your sponsor have kids then you have to be careful with the amount of money they are going to spend on you or to use for your sponsor or the money in their bank account because sometimes they will also look at this at the embassy now when it comes to the sponsorship your sponsor needs to prove that he or she has enough money to take care of you your bank statement or let me say proof of funds to study in lithuania should be five thousand five hundred approximately five thousand five hundred after your first tuition deposit has been paid and all you need to do is to go and apply for your visa five thousand five hundred is the key but again like i said you should understand that they need to supply all their documents to you they shouldn't leave anything unturned because this can affect your visa application some people were equally telling me about age limit of course it's true that there is age limit and do not forget that there are some schools that will ask you to do skvc evaluation but some will not ask you to do it so in case your school is asking you you should ask them okay if you are doing it or they can do it for you it's very important then also remember that some places in lithuania or some schools are very expensive so if you are applying to any school in lithuania you should know look at your budget then you plan now let's go back to the issue of proof of funds proof of funds is not just about showing money in the bank account okay it's not just about dropping too much money huge sums of money in the account it's about showing how true and how legit this money can be readily available to you and accessible to you you understand most people the embassies know that most of us we do not do legit things so they always want us to prove beyond reasonable doubts that 
we actually have the money if you don't have the money the person that has the money should at least be open to you to get money at any point in time that is why i always tell people try to plan well on your application remember these are not all the documents of visa application you still need your academic credentials you still have health insurance flight booking accommodation and a whole lot of other things so please pay attention to all these updates nigerians i wish you all the best and to those watching the video thank you so much please share so that somebody can benefit from this so cameroonians watching thank you so much somebody is also willing to benefit from this i hope this will help somebody till we meet again in another one for some reasons i'm going to be bringing other videos on uh, maybe australia new zealand canada belgium germany and again do not forget that it's important for you to share the video and like it for us Study in lithuania next year 2025 or oh, january next year admissions for january 2025 is going to start very soon so you can apply for your admissions and if you want to start september 2025 admissions is equally going to start around december january so please start your application early start your process early because visa will not wait for you many people are applying for this and if you waste time somebody will go ahead of you i hope this helps you till we meet again in another one peace